Young boy. Pull up your pants. <laughs> you are showing the world that you look like the exact thing that you are exposing and as if you can't afford a belt but no, you actually have one on but your pants are still below your knees. Young boy. Pull up your pants. They are preventing you from standing up straight and walking like a man. And to you, it may seem cool, but to everyone else, you should look like a fool. Young boy. Man, pull up your ass. Just imagine if Shirley Chisholm was running for presidency and she needed you to run alongside of her, but you can't run because your pants are below your knees. Young boy. Man, pull up your ass. What if Bussa told you that it's time to bring weapons in revolt, but you can't fight for freedom because you have to use one hand to hold up your pants? <laughs> Young boy. Pull up your pants! You are effeminizing yourself. Maybe if you read, listen to, or watch insightful information, you would overstand the severity of this mindset because pretty soon you will step out of those skin tight jeans or jeggings and step into a dress. And if you don't believe me, just listen to Dr. Francis Cress. Do you see where I am going with this? You are supposed to be our young warriors that are the majority on this planet, but instead you have become stagnant and lethargic sucking on white sticks that are cancerous, actually thinking that it is cool to have embarked upon this new port, which only leaves you physically unfit. And in this psychological warfare, you've already lost because you can never win if you can't protect your women and defend your children. So let me reiterate it again. Young boy. Because you, or our future. And I don't want you missing out on this dynamic chance of reconnecting and realigning yourselves with your ancestors. So when you are in front of your elders, just remember, young boy. Oh,